Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tim and welcome to a Thursday night stream. Thursday? No, today's Friday. Jesus Christ. The week has just flown by. No, no, today's Thursday. Oh my god, I'm on schedule. Oh my god, I'm on schedule. I actually just kind of defaulted to the fact that I was late. You know, like, I, I'm, I'm so used to not being on schedule that it just completely blew me by. Here's the thing. I don't actually work at the day job tomorrow, so today is kind of my Friday. But, you know, it's not actually Friday. It's Thursday. That being said, that means we can go a little bit later this evening, so I am very pleased about that fact. Speaking of things that I'm very pleased about before we actually get back into the game, a uh, couple of little side notes. We've gotten some uh, decent upgrades going on here in the studio that I wanted to share with you guys. So, remember last time we met, uh, my spider basket broke. It broke, it's in the garbage because it's garbage and it's not actually able to hold up the microphone anymore. So instead, I ordered a new one, uh, direct from Samson themselves because, I mean, I might as well go back to the source. The microphone has literally been with me since the channel started some seven years ago. So I figured I would get something along those same lines and here it is. Da 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 Brand new spider basket. This thing is actually really amazing. Um, it's completely sus wait. Out of sync? I hate it when people say I'm out of sync. Fine. We'll fix it. Back to what I was talking about. Uh, also, second upgrade, I am no longer using the Xbox 360 controller. This has officially been wrapped up and put away because, uh, I don't know how many times I've complained about the disc-based D-pad, but uh, it is no longer my problem. So, fuck that thing. I have officially upgraded to an Xbox One controller because these are no longer 120 fucking dollars. So yeah, uh, I have an actual D-pad now. There it is. It's it's very nice. It, it it actually functions very well. And I just drank from the healing gourd. Good job. I mean, it that just shows you it's responsive. It actually functions. Uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing the difference that this thing actually provides because I've been playing with it off and on on other games and It's a little bit lighter uh, Than 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 the Xbox 360 model. It's a little bit smaller a little bit more compact uh, the buttons are a little bit larger uh, Or at least they feel so to my thumbs and that makes it easier to like mash in between the two of them Does that make sense like with my big giant thumbs? It's easy for me to hit X and Y at the same time um, a combination that's a lot harder to hit for most people than like Y, B, and X and A, which is why Tekken uses those as their throw commands. Uh, but, but with these wider buttons, it seems, it makes it easier to be able to smash the two of them at the same time, A and B, and Y and X, being able to do the other two combos. I like it. I think I like it. Now then, the other things that I've gotten are actually in the game so let me go ahead and show you there as you can see I found uh, while I was cruising around trying to get some more money and buy some more loots I found a gourd seed I found a gourd seed and we now have seven uses of the uh, healing elixirs which is very very nice uh, I also was able to gain a new combat art in the form of the Ashina cross because if you remember we needed to get a secret art and that took a lot of skill points like a lot of skill points so I went ahead and ground it out and got it off screen and here we are. In the Ashina Arts category, we went ahead and got the Ichimonji Double, which is kind of nice. Uh, the Flowing Water, which allows me to reduce the amount of posture damage done to me when I get attacked by a sword. And then the Combat Art for Ashina Cross. This is the uh, secret technique for the Ashina Art line. And it is, in fact, that, that, that exact samurai wonderful thing that you want. Where you line up, oh yeah, oh yeah, and then you wait. That unshe style. And it does a decent amount of damage, killing most, most regular units in one blow. I mean, it's kind of great. Now, the interesting thing is when you're like this, you can also sidestep, get back in, sidestep, get back in, sidestep, get back in, release. It's a little bit wonky because you're ha they're like, I wish I could show you my hands when I'm doing that because like I'm pressing X with the thumb and then holding in the thing and then like, eh, no, nope, can't show. And then like with my other finger here, I'll hit the B button. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's weird, but it works. So, uh, yes, I did find a better place to farm noble. Um, in a minute, I'll show it to you because it won't take me long. 
and I think it's really good information, like for people who want to know where a good place to farm mid-game is. But in the meantime, any secret techniques? I sure as shit have mastered yes. a new secret technique. It seems you have. Sekiro, you really have a knack for killing. Well, Why, thank you. Here's your reward. Take it. All right. Jesus, just barking at me. The Mushin Exoteric Text. Young Ishin would stop at nothing to lust for power. Uh, young Ishin would stop at nothing in, in his lust for power, and the single-minded search for strength ended in him taking Ashina as, as his own. This is the result of combining techniques from the styles encountered. This drive to find Ishin's achievements, and as such, this text will never be finished. Certainly. Sekiro, I know you... <coughs> You all right? <clears throat> no, Tango is not okay. Here for a little while longer. Go, Sekiro. Now, if that doesn't clue you into exactly who it is behind that mask, I don't know what will. Uh, but I'm gonna keep that secret to myself for a little while because I enjoy knowing things that you guys may not yet. Let's see here. So, in the new skills tree, let's go and check it out. No, he does not have Dragon Rot, Juno. That is a man who does not have Dragon Rot. I can confirm. All right, fourth tree. Oh. 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 This fourth tree combines other secret arts, like the Ashina Cross, Combined with Shadow Rush gives you this one. And then combined with this one gives you this one. Whatever those are. Shadow Fall is a combined art of Shadow Rush and whatever this one is. An unknown art upgrade. Evolution of Shadow Rush. This is a secret technique of the Ashina Mushin compound style. After leaping into the skies with Shadow Rush. Allows one to perform a spinning sword attack as they descend. Pierce, fly, then dive back down. Jumping off the enemy costs spirit emblems. So Shadow Rush, with long range rushing thrust attack upon connecting with the enemy wolf will jump off of them, leaping into the air. A charge Shadow Rush does an extended range. Interesting. And then after you leap, you can Shadow Fall, which allows you to spinning slice while falling back to the ground. That's kind of cool. That's kind of really super cool. Hmm. Anyway, well, thank oh, you very much there, Tangu. I appreciate your contributions to my uh, my murder spree. I will I will protect and serve. Uh, so let's see. Where was that farming point? It was. Oh yes, in the gun fort here. So back in the gun fort. Once you reach this particular statue there is a great place to grind out probably like 500 experience in about a minute uh it's right here in the sunken valley instead of going down towards the caves you instead turn back up towards the sunken valley if you remember this is the place where we crossed where there's the shit ton of gun boys and shotgun people and all kind of nastiness that just leave you very vulnerable so check this fucking shit out first step and then I'm immediately going to last on my way over here, which allows me to get close to you and second death. Now then, I'm going to wait right up here as this guy proceeds to lose me. Once he loses me, I'm going to be able to jump down here and kill him too. Killing him too is going to provide another 200 some odd exp uh, experience. 237, 290, one of those two, somewhere in that range. There he goes. Which allows me to kill him very easily. And, as a bonus, there's even an additional shotgun boy down here, and if you can go ahead and kill him, it's worth that little bit of extra. But sometimes it's more worth it to just say fuck it 
grab the gold, and get out. That's 151 gold and something like 600 experience in six kills. Not too shabby. And then you rest, you reset, you repeat. That's my farming method. That's my mid-game farming method that I found so far. And it works pretty well. Um, if you are able to expend, like if you have enough spirit emblems, you'll notice that I have 96 saved up now. We can't, we left last time with nil. If you're able to expend some to go ahead and do your ninjutsu and, and splurt out the blood uh, bomb, then you can sneak right around second shotgun boy, get him even faster, teleport up, grab shield, uh, grab the gun guy at the top level, then run back down, get the guy with the flame, and then allows you to get shotgun guy at the very bottom of that ledge without even sparking his alert. Uh, so the steel umbrella is an upgrade that we got that functions as a shield. And it also has a secondary upgrade that I grabbed that adds a magnetic clasp to uh, up underneath uh, where Sekiro's holding it. And it allows me to spin the umbrella to add an extra counter to once it's already out. Once it's already out, it provides protection against most projectiles, which is really great. And then, it, say an enemy gets close to me and wants to hit me with a sword while I'm doing this, I can then expend more points to rotate. Not too shabby. I also went ahead and put in the Divine Leaf that we grabbed and got myself a new upgrade, which might be my very favorite thing in the world. So check this fucking shit out. So this is the Divine Leaf. The Divine Leaf has an ability called Abduction. And that ability allows you to do bullshit like, ow. Hey there, Renegade McCheese. Welcome. Thank you for the follow. Oh, God damn it! Fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. I'm trying to show off here, game. How dare you do this while I'm trying to show off? Oh, I see. It's catching up on all the, uh... Follows that I got off stream and stuff. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That guy's gonna kill me if I don't get careful. Now then, let's try that again. Uh! Nope, oh, I said uh! There we go. <laughs> well, I normally receive those notifications off stream. But, uh, apparently Streamlabs, like, or, yeah, Streamlabs now, like, pockets all of those to just go ahead and expend them at, once we start streaming again. So, yeah, that is a lot of follow notifications. But anyway, let's try that again. This time with a little bit less panic. So what this fan does is allow you to charge up a little burst. When that burst hits an enemy that's at close range, wait for it, it actually literally turns them around. It's kind of like Mario's cape in Smash Brothers. It turns the enemy around backwards and makes them vulnerable to an immediate backstab. How amazing is that fucking shit? So like this guy right here, I can, oh. I can whoosh, an immediate backstab. Never stood a chance. So that allows you to do that mid combat. One more, there it is. And that should be the last of them. Yep, never mind. So it's actually, I mean, it's a really cool addition to the arsenal. I, I really enjoy it. I think that um, I had a lot of fun figuring out exactly how that thing works. And it has some cool, very, very cool upgrades later on. Uh, but just to kind of read it out for you. Large fan that creates a vortex of wind gathers and releases a gust of wind, forcing enemies to be caught by the blast to turn around. Can be waved twice in succession because that's one of the upgrades that I got. There's a regular divine abduction and then double divine abduction that allows me to use it twice. It's a mild sort of being spirited away that can be returned from quite quickly. However, it is said that one can only return from being a spirit away once, and if taken again, there is no coming back. Now, I don't know what that means. I don't know what that second part means. I haven't tried using two blows on a single person. Maybe I should. 
I mean, there is this guy that's right here. Let's experiment for a second. We've got time. Hey there, Tommy boy. Welcome. Glad you could join us. So let's go ahead and... Oh, nope. There we go. Charge that bad boy up. And first time. And second time. Nope. Okay. Doesn't work a second time. All right. Well, I mean, now we know. Now we know not to use it twice. Hey there, Chaco Cox. Welcome. Glad you could join us. Also, I love that username. Uh, having said it out loud, that username is incredible. And stab. But yeah, so you can also release the mists. Ouch. <laughs> Which, if if that guy's not close enough, doesn't do a damn thing. But if he is close enough, it normally like blinds him for a second, and then you can sneak in there and get the instant kill, etc., etc., etc. But it's fine. Let's go ahead and proceed forward now. We have done all the experimenting that we need to do, and I have found a new place underneath Ashina Castle. If you continue going through, uh, I think it was through the antechamber, and then down where we got the poison knife, there was a way down to the abandoned dungeon, and I happened to find that idol, and I was like, uh, this is new. I need to stop. I need to stop. This is new. That was while I was going around farming points and earning money and figuring out how the apparition killing stuff works. But what's cool is we're actually really close to being able to get the upgrade to the uh, loaded umbrella that lets us be able to block apparitions, which is going to be real Did nice. Purchase an offering? Sure, what you got? Uh, Dragon's Blood Droplet. Those are nice to have. I've got four in storage, so I think we're okay, but still, those are nice to have. Also, I bought his prayer bead already because I just happen to have a decent amount of money. But I guess right now, all I really want to do is buy more heavy coin purses because I don't want to lose the thousand gold that I've got. Okay, we'll come back. Like, I'm only, you know, 35, 37, 33, excuse me, gold away from being able to afford a new, uh, another heavy bag, so we'll go ahead and wait on that. Uh-oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had a feeling those crickets were not going to sing a fun song. Okay. Oop. That's not a dead body. Oh, no, that's a cricket. Never mind. Okay. Oh, that's not a dead body. Hi. Oh, hi. Are you a lunger? Are you a lunger? Cool. Oh, boy. Are you a lunger? Like most zombies? Excellent. That takes care of that. Oh, man. This place is cool. The fuck? I killed you. Oh, zombie. Zombie. They got multiple lives. Let's try this again. Okay. Now he's dead. Once he Thanoses and turns into dust, then they're dead. That's the trick. All right. Noted. Yep. Always double tap, Noble. You're exactly right. Now I wonder... Would say, I don't know, fire have anything to say about that? He says very curiously. Hmm. The hell are you? Oh, well, you're friendly. I mean, I can't target her, and she's got one of those talk icons over her, so I'm guessing friendly. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I broke your last alcohol jar. That was my fault. What are you doing here? Of all places. I mean, I could ask you the exact same question. Uh, also, what's with this what's with the guy lamenting in the background? Dale. I am one of those. I thought as much. Might you be willing to take on a favor for me? I am Dojun. A favor for a bloody monk, sure. Operation of a medical treatment using the rejuvenating waters. Wait, point, my dear Shinobi. The rejuvenating waters that can bring people from back from the dead. The particulars are contained. I thought we wanted to get rid of those. Surgeon's bloody letter. Required one tough man. Uh, preferably a strong samurai or a young large soldier as a member of the Taro troop. Must be delivered unharmed. Hmm. To Dosaku. 
I don't know if I want to recruit anybody for your wicked cause, because I have a feeling that's going to end up poorly for whoever we get. I don't know, just a hunch. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Crickets are on the hunt. Crickets are on the hunt. And I took off my damn... Uh, shuriken. Come here, Cricket. Come here, stupid Cricket. Got it. Come here, stupid Cricket. Got it. Okay, let's put back... <laughs> let's definitely keep those shuriken around for any crickets that may creep up. I'm feeling it's gonna be a good idea. Now then, let's go ahead and use that new attack. How about that? How about that? How about that shit? Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Ah! Got him again. That makes that real easy. Now, of course, that uses spirit emblems. So, like, I can't do that a lot. But I can do that enough. Hmm, another shrine down there. I have a feeling that things are gonna go south. Yeah, see. I don't, I don't really like it when the music gets all, oh, it's just a Zambo. Never mind. I was about to say, I don't really like it when the music gets all uppity because that means that something's coming for me right as I'm about to get to a save point. And those save points are supposed to be just that. Safe. Go ahead. Get back up. When in doubt, lose fire. Wow. Wow. Immediate burning condition. Nice. Okay. So fire is incredibly effective against the undead. Very much noted. And we are earning a lot of pacifying agents from this action, too. Also... Is that like an army of fucking crickets? Yes, it is. Oh boy. And I only, I only have three shuriken left. Make them count. Oh, nice, I get a little bit of a refund for some of them. And finish him. Excellent. Plain oil. Plain oil, great. That is what they call a honey pot. Where they make you think that it's gonna be something incredibly wonderful and valuable down there. It's two items together. How could it not be? And then it's absolutely bupkis. Like, not a goddamn thing. It's shitty oil. Gotta rest. Otherwise, it's not going to rejuvenate everything. The underground waterway. Hmm. Neat. I wonder what was kept in those cages. It's a scrap iron. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, before we go in the dark, deep water, let's go back up here because there was another place that I could, like, veer off to the side. Excuse me, game. Excuse me, game. Do you mind? There we go. So it froze for a second. Right over here. Yeah. Ooh. Single tap. Excellent. Ooh. Nice little bite down. Now, question. When he comes back to life, I don't suppose I could, like, appear behind him. Nah, unfortunately, there's no way to surprise attack him once he's coming back to life. He kind of already knows you're there. Buddy, oh Jesus, what the hell was that? Who, who the, what the? Ah, you. Oh, right, because I rested. So everything came back. Duh. Uh. 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 Oh, Jesus. They're just so the same color as everything. Mm. Here lies the vassals of the Ashina clan. Executed after the Great Rebellion. May their spirits rest. So... Wait, what? Stream crash? What? Don't tell me that. What do you mean stream crashed? <sighs> mm. 
weird. Because I can, I mean, are we back up? Because I can see myself. Like, hit refresh and see if it's back up. Okay, cool. It just crashed for a second. That was weird. I don't know. I blame Sekiro. Is that fair? I think that's fair. Anyway, let's continue on down this deep, start scary, scary place. But uh, So what I was thinking is, uh, where do we cut out? Do we cut out before I read this thing? This thing talks about the vassals of the Ashna clan executed after a great rebellion may their spirits find rest. I have a feeling that their spirits are not going to find rest here. In fact, this may be, yeah, where we really start encountering some apparition-type enemies. Which I am prepared to take on. Balloon of so Oh, that's a boss. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, dear. Oh, boy. I don't want it. Um, so, do we want to take on the apparition boss? Or do we want to go down the deep, dark water? I mean, that's just choosing between two nightmares. Really is what that is. And I am not happy about being forced between those two choices. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay. Cool. My dear, the deed's considering the nature of the information. Alright, so let's go ahead and run on past. The boss, you'd say? Really? I was going to do the river. Because here's the thing. Soon, we're going to be able to have that apparition blocking umbrella. At which point, I'll feel a lot better about taking on those kind of enemies. As of right now, I do have the pacifying agent and divine confetti to be able to deal with any fear that may come about. But I feel like until I get that umbrella, I really don't want to push my luck too hard. Although I did beat Headless. I mean, I had to kick a whole lot of ass at once without stopping. But I did beat a Headless. For what that's worth. Got him. More pacifying agents. Yeah, it's definitely saying, hey, be prepared. Be prepared for lots of apparitions. A light coin purse, some black gunpowder, nom nom nom. Is that really all there was here? Well, fuck. Oh, no, never mind. There's more around the river bend. Okay, cool. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's in the water with me? I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. Okay. It's just a fish. It's like a piranha. Okay. Interesting. So there are deadly river things, but they're just, you know, like big old goofy looking tuna, basically. Also, guy with gun, not a problem. Guy with sword, a little bit more of a problem. But the good news is they can't really do anything to me while I'm here, so. Let's go ahead and drop down, maybe get out of their view. Oh. Fine, fine. You may have the high ground, but I've got liquor. Ow, you motherfucker. There we go. Just one last shuriken in the face. Takes care of all problems, right? Isn't that how you solve your problems at work? A random shuriken to the face. Dun, 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 sneaking along the catacombs. Hmm. Another little Buddha statue. Thought that was an item. It is not. It's a water wheel. Hmm. Okay. 
So operating the water wheel turns the mechanism, which brings down the elevator. Neat. Where does the elevator go? It moves the water around the other direction, and then we go up. Okay. Am I back in the castle? I'm back in the castle. You. Yes, you. Me? Who me? God? Those at the Senpo Temple have strayed from Buddha's teaching. Oh, we're in the Senpo Temple. Oh, nice. Seduced by a search for immortality. Should you be captured, there is no telling what would become of you. You would do well to return the way you came. Or... However... We're probably just gonna have to move on. I will not stop you from entering, if you are determined to do so. Yeah, we kinda gotta do so. Okay, dokie. Please, proceed with care. Hmm. Interesting. But yeah, I actually have defeated a lot of really cool and interesting bosses since, uh, I guess the last time you saw Juno. Uh, we did finally defeat Lady Butterfly. Then there was also this shotgun sniper lady who was really annoying. Why, thank you. I appreciate your thoughts and prayers. Almost left without communing with the idol. All right, so this is our first official one here in Senpo Temple. If you remember, our other one here in Senpo Temple is the Bell Demon Temple, way the hell up on top of the mountain. But this is actually officially down in the valley where we can explore. And rather than take on the undead boss, this is what I have chosen to do. Interesting. Can I open up a side door here? Up, up. No. No, I cannot. Sadly. But I can't explore a side path, which leads to this guy. Ooh, Fred. Aw. Why the crying face? <laughs> they left me here. Where did everyone go? Why did you leave Oh, that was the behind? other big boss that we took on, now Juno. We found a giant gorilla. Why, Why are, are you crying? crying? Everyone's gone. And when I killed him finally, Who's we chopped him? off his head, Everyone? and then the gorilla picked up his head uh, and continued to fight on. Uh, um, uh, oh, jeez. Uh, you look a little uh, lumpy. Spinning, spinning red and white flowers. Only one pure white flower. A pure white flower I cannot find. What? The pure white flower that uh, we are looking for to recreate the fragrance of heaven. No idea what I'm saying. I just, I've got to find the pure white flower. Well, I'm sorry, friend. There's not much I can do to help. At least not at present. Now, who are you? Oh, you're a monk I can kill. Nice. Okay. Just killed a monk who was sitting here examining nature and meditating. That's fine. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's not going to have any karmic payback whatsoever. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I don't know why he sounds like Ed Boy. But I can't disagree. Is that... Is he looking at me? <laughs> They're so kind of potato-esque. It's really hard to tell whether he's looking at me or not. He was not. Ooh. A kite mechanism? Let's go fly a kite up to the highest height. Please let it get struck by lightning.
So we let it go, and it reels itself back in. Weird. Alright. There's a mystery afoot. And it has to do with a kite mechanism. Fine. At least now we know. We'll have to come back here. Uh, let's search for a way up and out. Whee! Hmm. Sorry. Whenever a little musical change or sting happens, I'm like, what, what, what's going on? There's been a change. Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking let's take to the trees. Be like Wise Owl. And take to the skies. Oh. Because murder is going to have to come in many forms today. But mostly. Silence. You know, I hear, ladies and gentlemen, that Buddhist monks sometimes take a vow of silence. Let's help him with that. <laughs> and finished it. Excellent. That's two down. And there's one more right at the very tippy top of the stairs. He's got a spear. I'm wondering if we can do the same kind of trick to him or if I'm actually going to have to fight him for real, for real. Because I don't know if he's got it around him to get. Oh, he does. Oh, he does. Oh, you're fucked. I love this game. It's like, oh, hey, do you not want to fight the hard way? Because we can help you with that. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We got three Buddhist monks coming at me now. Bring it, big boys. Oh, that's okay. Hmm. Yeah, see about that. I want to focus fire. There we go. Let's finish off the ones without weapons first. Oh, wow. I can deflect their fists with my squad. Okay. What else you got? Chink. Makiri counter! I love that Makiri counter. It's the fucking best. Can I? There we go. Well, let's say, can I get on top of the pagoda? Because I want to get a little bit more of a view of this place. Wow. I mean, we really are just climbing through the, the mountainside. Oh! Nice! Okay. Let's be careful. As they are going to have the higher ground most of the way up. Bodies? Oh, these must be people that the monks have captured. Because remember, the, the warning said, oh, yeah, if you get captured, they're going to do very bad things to you, which I assume meant butt stuff, but I guess maybe not. Oh, my God, that's a lot of monks. Um, Okay, I guess we're going to have to ninjutsu it up because otherwise their, their numbers would be superior. Also... I guess those two are stuck on each other. That's fine. Nope. I messed up the second stealth kill, but it's fine. We, we were able to get away with it. No problemo. Uh, anybody else here on the mountainside? I saw some more items and some more spirit emblems and stuff that I could pick up, but I do want to be wary about unnecessary combat around here. Ooh. Hello, three items. Light, uh, two light antidote powders and a coin purse. Don't mind if I do. Anything around and or down here? Or is this just kind of like an, a quick escape if you needed to get out of trouble? I think that's more of a quick escape. Okay. Neat. So let's see what we can do about the guards that are directly in front of the gate. Oh. 
good. Your friend heard nothing. And that means that all that's left are those three here in the middle of the garden. Which, unfortunately, they're kind of really stuck together. Like, those three are just best friends right there. That's your Ed, Ed, and Eddie in, in Sh uh, Shonen Monk format right there. Shonen Buddhist Monk. You know what I meant. All right. We'll spark off the ninjutsu. That allows me to sneaky, 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 sneaky. And pull it off again. Oof. Which I can keep doing over and over again until I run out of spirit emblem. Or enemies. Whichever comes first. Excellent. Yeah, once you are able to do the blood burst, this game really just changes. Hmm. Curious? I was sure that that would be a way inside. Oh! Oh! I guess we're scaling the out. Neat. Way more ninja-like. Or... Not? Okay. Uh, let's go this way. Aha! Bingo! I, I, I reassert my previous stance. Much more ninja-like. We're gonna go straight through the ceiling. Uh, also, deadly poison crickets. Fuck you, cricket. Fuck you, cricket. Fuck you, cricket. Fuck you, cricket. You make great bait, but you make terrible enemies. Next. Also, great fertilizer. Crickets themselves and also their poop makes incredible fertilizer. Ah! Now they're just like falling off the ceiling and shit. Not cool. Not cool, game. Stop it. They're already creepy enough as is. They just keep going. Kill, kill the bug. There we go. Good job, second row. Yes, Shaolin was the word that I was actually going for. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. I alerted the entire damn dojo. Jeez, that's one hell of an iron fist combo. Uh-oh. There we go. But I need to kill him before any of his friends get up here. That is Priorita one. Okay, that takes care of that. We shall kill any bugs that decide to venture in here, but I believe that the actual other monks... Oh, boy. Oh, shit. We've got a big wielder. That's not good. That's not good. Here he comes. You know, I remember learning the name of that thing. I think it was like a Hirobo or something like that. There was an episode of uh, Deadliest Warrior that featured those weapons. You would think it was a samurai versus a viking. Or some really amazing fight like that. And those things were capable of just destroying any shields and or armor uh, that stood in the way of it. Okay, I need to take care of Annoying Boy first. Fuck you, and you're done. Excellent. Everything else from here is going to be cake. Speaking of, Umbrella Time. Ooh, nice. A lump of fat wax. I wonder if I'll get some from this boy, too. You know, because he's fat. Batter up. Nice. Block the shit out of that thing. And all the way down. Excellent. Good job, everybody. Kenobo. Okay. I honestly, I only ever heard it pronounced in the show. I never saw it written out. So that makes total sense. Sorry, boys. Now you... Yeah, I was about to say, you look like somebody who's going to come to life and cause problems. So I'm glad that my uh, 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 first observations were correct. 
The good news is he has nothing for health. So like, if we can just get close, he's fucked. That for making more annoying enemies. There. Ooh. Got myself another gourd seed. Got myself another gourd seed. And more fat wax, which is great, because uh, I need, I mean, that's the next real item that I need for more upgrades is fat wax and adamantite. Adamantite. Yeah. So if I can find more of that shit, I will be very happy, boy. I would be a very happy boy. Pinwheels? Red and white pinwheels. Hello, old lady. You How are you? Dragon rot. Oh. She, how does she already have the dragon rod upon meeting her? Child. Yes, the child is safe. He's doing well. You, on the other hand, are not. Don't force yourself to speak. I mean, the good news is I have stuff to cure the dragon rot. So, like, if the quest here is to make her okay, we can do that. I don't know which way. You know, that's a good that's a good possibility. Somehow uh Genichiro and his revivifying has caused the dragon rot to spread even more. Or even faster even. I don't know. These are all excellent questions. Another antidote powder. I'm assuming because there still be poison enemies around here every so often. Wow. That is a lot of spirit emblems up here. Just chilling. Ooh. This is so pretty. I love that this game has moments of like, yeah, no, I'm just going to let you like sit here and look at a pretty place. This is not necessarily... Anything strategic or or even combat based. It's just fucking pretty. Wow. I'm just gonna sit here and look at this vista for a second, cause we don't get to appreciate this game's beauty very much. Mostly just the blood spray physics. Wow. Whoa. Something's on fire up there. Okay. I have a feeling we're going to need to go and help. Herp. Hmm. So there's a lot of boys here in the courtyard. Good news is they seem to be just regular boys. Very prone to being murdered. Except for this guy. You're new. You with the double-sided twisty thing. You're new. I'm guessing that you didn't find that in the, in the, in the barn. Ouch. Wow, he hurts. Hmm. Okay. Well, the good news is I have the umbrella for emergencies. Woo! But I have a feeling, I have a feeling I'm actually just supposed to, uh, fight him, fight him. I can actually block his attack, beat his posture down, and win uh, the old-fashioned way. Oh, nice! He started to do an aerial attack, and I knocked him off of it. Oh, boy. I thought that was going to be a stab. It was not. Oh, no, now there's two. That's not good. One, I can definitely handle. I mean, we're doing okay. Two, less so. 
Oh, oh, fuck me. Fuck me running sideways. That was not cool. Double glade? Something like that, yeah. Find them. Oh, well, you know what? They are basically wearing gil giant ghillie suits. So let's give that a shot. Oh boy, oh fuck me, double death. Mm. Did not work out as planned. Uh, we were doing great until we aggroed two of them and then honestly I just needed to reset. Because there was no way I was going to be able to take out both of them. Also, I just lost so much shit. Ouch. Ouch. It's okay. It's okay. Money's made to be lost. And then regained. Right? Something like that. Oh, well. It'll be okay. Now, I'm wondering. There we go. Can I not speed up this process a little bit by just sneaking up behind them instead of waiting in the trees? I think that's part of the hidden fun about this game. Once you start being able to really tap into the uh, stealth mechanics, it's figuring out how to get back to where you were when you just died faster than you got there the first time, since now you know what the hell you're doing. Or at least, that's the assumption. Now, we'll go ahead and spray and pray. Get the next one. Spray it out. Nope. There we go. And now let's come back here and regroup while we gather all that money. Nice. Totally fine. Really? Really, you bag of asses? I was about to get an instant kill on your friend, and then you decided to come along. I will say this, it's the same kind of weapon that the main character in Chrono Cross uses. Whatever that's called. And I think it is a double glaive or something like that. That sounds right. Alright, cool. So that takes care of those three bad boys. Ooh, I missed an item the first time around. How did that happen? Okay. And now, to get these two, it was important for me to sneak up onto the porch. And I guess I can pass them up, but why? Free experience. Because when I kill you, you won't see a thing. Ah! And then all that's left are two punchy boys, which are gonna be real damn easy. See? All you do is parry two of their blows and they're already weakened enough to just ass-assinate. It's kind of the best. Whee! Oh boy. Ah, oh, shit. I forgot about the entire room of bugs. And the ones that fall from the ceiling too and are also in the next room and yeah, this place is so gross. They really need to hire an exterminator. Or a shinobi. Or both. Alright, that takes care of you. Although, I understand now why there's so many bugs in here. Especially considering that there is a guy who literally spawns them. That they're praying to at the altar. So I wonder if these bugs are in fact in charge, or like, responsible for their change. You remember how the, 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 the Buddhist shrine was telling me that their people had changed? I wonder if these poison bugs are responsible for their change. Considering that they were worshipping a thing that actually just makes them, it stands to reason. All right, come on, General Kenobo. I need you to not do your thing that you're doing right now. Excellent. 
Now you can come up. Although I wonder if I can de-aggro him. Like if I can just kind of hang around in a dark corner for long enough to lose his aggro. That would be cool if I can get him to turn around and kill him. Oh. Oh. I think he might be just dumb enough for it to work. Yes. Be careful. Turn around. Turn around, big boy. Turn around. Fine. Just sit there and stare at the wall, then. Don't. Don't you do it, you stupid bug. Don't you do it, you stupid bug. I swear to God, if you cost me this stealth kill, you stupid bug. Nice! Got him! And of course, you'll notice another stupid bug came up right as I said that. So he could have fucked it up real bad. But now, makes me wonder about this boy here. Can I get the stealth kill off on him? Sure as shit can. Fuck you and your bug spawning abilities. You suck. Really? I was about to say, I know I saw another goddamn cricket there. The question is, where was it? What? Are you a Zambo too? You undead whore. He's not really dead, is he? You see those? Oh. It's more of those purple veinies. It's the purple veinies that are keeping him alive. So then I wonder if I'm supposed to use something specific to kill it, because it's still not dead. Hmm. Interesting. It's on fire. But I don't think that's going to do the trick. Huh. Curious. Well. I mean, I guess I could try doing something like the Divine Confetti. Mmm. Jam it in him. Nope. Even with the power of divine fire lighting my blade, it's still not enough to put him in the grave for good. Weird. Okay. Weird flex, but okay. I guess we'll come back to him later. Once we know how to murder him. Alright, so there's Glaive Boy. And there's his friend who came to help. Hmm. So then I wonder if we can get up to kill second Glaive Boy here in front of the bridge first and then go get the f uh, our first friend. How sneaky can we be? I guess is the ultimate question. Yes! No! 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 I had the stealth kill, you ass! Hey there, Toblerone. Welcome. I am trying like hell to spam. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. A fight. Come on. Come on. Bring it back. Bring it back over here. I do not want to go and engage in earshot of the other guy. Come on. Good. Unfortunately, I totally had an assassination opportunity and I botched it completely. Oh, 
Oh boy. And now we've got company, and now I'm dead for real. Fuck! I had that, I had that kill, I had that kill. I had that kill in my hands, and I fucked it up. I fucked it up. Who fucked it up? I fucked it up. Oh my god, I'm so mad. I have nobody to blame for that but myself. That, and that's the thing that I love, hate about this game. When you fuck up, it's because you fucked up. I had that kill. I had it in my pocket, and I got excited, and I hit the button at the wrong time. And instead of, of getting the stealth kill, I sword slashed. Simple as that. That's where it all went south. If we had not done that, everything else would have been fine. Would have been completely and totally fast. Oh yeah, forget about these boys. This is where they must have come from when I fought them last time. Huh. Interesting. What's curious is the thing that that monk is doing to give himself the red is actually Akko Sugar. I have that. That's the thing that I have. Jesus, Jesus, speaking of things that I have, an ass that's getting kicked. All right. Excuse me. Rude to block other people's blows, you know. Okay, good. Makiri counter, almost. There we go, that takes care of you, and... Oop. One block, one hit, good enough. Now to deal with your friend. Now that things are a little bit more fair. There we go. Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. Finisher. It's like, just give me the finisher, Gabe. I don't want to make this any more awkward than it's going to be. I already have to see his family at Thanksgiving. Then I say that I also beat your boy to a bloody pulp. That's just a bad look. You see only air. Or... Air filled with blood. Crap. It would appear as though we have other company that I just kind of left behind for a moment. In favor of getting this stealth kill instead. Excellent. And fuck you. I wonder if killing people... I wonder if killing... Oh. Crap. Sorry, I can't read and fight at the same time. You'll have to excuse. I wonder if killing that praying monk is as simple as destroying or defying, uh, defying the shrine. When you're not playing Sekiro, I will try to get you raided. A guy called Brian Lyman is on Twitch and raids new people each night and usually ends up with loads of bits, followers, and subs through the streamers cool like you. Oh, thank you, dummy boy. I appreciate that. That's very sweet of you to say. I, I, you know, here's the thing. For me, Twitch streams are just a place for me to hang out with friends. This is what I would be doing anyway, even if I wasn't actually live right now. I'd be sitting here playing Sekiro, talking shit about the game, and trying desperately to avoid getting my shit pushed in. So, it's really fun when I get to share those moments with the audience. You guys. Oh, Jesus. Oh, totally fine. Uh, <laughs> we'll probably be playing Sekiro for the... I say next little bit. But there will come a time soon when we're not. Ah, God damn it! There we go, got it. I agree. I love this game. This game's fantastic. I've been having so much goddamn fun with it. Got it. And there's the big old Kenobo boy. Let's see what I can do about losing him. The last place they saw me was down there. Let's see. I will say this. There should be a new uh, Guild Wars 2 chapter before too terribly long. We'll be playing that. 
But nobody wants to watch that. Okay, shifty feet. Going ahead. You and your happy shifty feet. Turn on around. There we go. Got him. I will. I absolutely will, Dami. Thank you for the recommendation. I always like finding other creative people like myself. All right. What I need to find is a new shrine. Oh, wait. Wait. There's the kite. So the kite gets raised up here. I don't know which way. And it's like at this level when... Um, hmm. Uh, no, I do not have the bell rung at the present moment, Dami. I have rung it. I know where it is. We can definitely do that. And I did it while I was practicing, or practicing, while I was, uh, grinding out a whole bunch of experience and stuff, because it makes your experience and money drops a good bit more. Uh, could the kite be a grapple point? Yes, that's entirely possible. That is entirely possible. In fact, very likely there, Juno. Um, so much so, I would be willing to try that out once we have a way to make the kite stay out. Because that was the problem, wasn't it? The kite could get out, but then it wouldn't stay out. It just reeled right back in. Okay, here we go. Uh, and yes, I did recently visit Ireland. It was wonderful. I, I had so much fun on that trip. I went with some good friends. I increased my stealth. And now let's try this again. Hip, hip. You see nothing. There we go. That takes care of that shit. And what's great is now we can even take out this boy right here in front of his friends. Nobody will be any the wiser. Uh, excuse me, I said no one will be the wiser, sir. Excellent. Now that is how we do it. But yeah, uh, so I went to Ireland for like two and a half weeks, and uh, I ended up staying in Dublin for St. Patrick's Day, which was unreal. And then after that, spent two, uh, two, the next two weeks just exploring around the country and, and having a blast. We went up to the Giant's Causeway and over to the Cliffs of Moor and stopped around in other various cities around the whole place. Went out to the Dingle Peninsula and saw a whole bunch of seaside towns over there. Um, then up through like Cork and Limerick, around to Waterford, up through Glendalough, which is my favorite part of the country in the Wicklow Mountains there. And I, I mean, we went on an entire two week tour of the country. Basically, making an entire lap around the country. And I couldn't have asked for too much more. How different is the St. Patrick's Day? So, um, well, okay. So here's the thing. It's not that much different from like a Mardi Gras celebration in New Orleans. That was the thing that got me the most. Your people were amazing. Like the, the Irish people could not have been better. Um, any problems that were had were usually with other tourists like me in Dublin for St. Patrick's Day. But uh, St. Patrick's Day in Dublin was very much like uh, uh, New Orleans for Mardi Gras in that there was a definite part of town. Uh oh. Get back up. There was a definite part of town that was designated to be like, okay, this is where all of the. Ooh, another memorial mob. This is where all the tourists are going to go and hang out. And these are the bars, yes, the Temple Bar area. Dami knows exactly where I'm talking about. Uh, I personally ended up spending a lot more time out of that area, uh, going around to the regular bars and stuff north of the river, where most of the regular people go to celebrate the holiday and just kind of forget that their town is literally like three times larger than it should be. Persimmons, ripe persimmons ready to eat. For a time, it allows one to recover posture, even when attacking or taking damage. Ooh, that's nice. Dragon blood droplet. Five color rice. Intended to spread on the ground in recognizable pattern. This white gourd is blessed with fertility, and resting at a sculptor's idol will replenish it. 
as landmarks. Huh. That's weird. Bulging coin purse. Holy shit. That is worth a thousand gold right there. But yeah, so I definitely spent a lot more time going outside of the Temple Bar area and actually hanging out with locals, you know? And, and I went to, um, I think one of my favorite places was the Confession Bar just on the other side of the river there and ended up wasting away most of the nights that we were there in uh, Dublin. Where you find the depravity of travel state. There we go. Uh, enjoying local company and talking to people and being treated incredibly well because most... Irish people kind of have a sour opinion of those who don't venture out of the norm. But if you actually make the effort to go outside of normal hangout areas and normal uh, uh, walks, and if you actually leave Dublin and go around to other places, we were treated like goddamn celebrities. Between actually having the camera, being, you know, professional videographers and doing our thing there, and actually kind of showing respect and, and appreciation for being outside of Dublin. I mean, we could not have been treated better. People were like, oh, y'all are, you were Americans. You're coming here to film. You're doing all this. Just please take this, please take this and tell your friends. And, and you know, it was wonderful. It was absolutely wonderful. And I could not have asked for anything. More. I mean, okay, here's the thing, Toblerone. We definitely spent the first night of the festival, which was the 14th. If St. Patrick's Day is the 17th, that would be a couple of days before, on the 14th. Uh, we definitely spent that night in Temple Bar, well before most of the tourists arrived. So you get the experience of doing that, because that's important. But after that, we definitely spent a lot more time getting out of that area, because I would have gone absolutely insane. It was so shoulder to shoulder, batshit bonkers. I, there's, there's no way. There's no way. I would have, I would have gone insane. Like every bar was just filled shoulder to shoulder with people, trying desperately to hold conversations over music that was way too damn loud. Yes, yes, indeed, Dami. And, and that was something that was really cool. Was getting to see people check us out. Like, they enjoyed asking me so many questions about American politics, about American ways of life, about our opinions about Irish politics, you know, and, and just really trying to get a gauge of who we were. Huh. I see you, Fling Point. Here we go. Ooh. Oh no, I enjoyed it. I expected it. Because see, I know that... Oh my god, that is not far flung enough. I know how much Irish people love talking their politics. That is that is something that always kind of fascinated me. Because around here, people are so like... Eh, I don't want to talk about that. Oh god damn it. But... Yes, very true. At least it's not Dark Souls. It's forgiving enough to be like, no, you can, you can, yeah, go ahead and try again. Let's try from here instead. Nope. Okay. Woohoo! That was it. Weird. I'm not gonna ask why that works. It just does. And for our efforts, we got a heavy coin purse. And another fling point. Wow. I mean, they weren't kidding with these locales. I am just climbing along the sides of a cliff here near Mount Fuji. This is unreal. All right, climb up. Wow. Oh, God damn it. No, you stupid poison lizards. I heard, I heard some creaking, and I didn't know where it was coming from. So many kick jumps. 
It's the white pinwheel. A single, pure, white pinwheel. Only the child is right here. We found it. We found the pinwheel. Jesus, tap dancing Christ, that's beautiful. But there's still further up to go. What is this place? I need a, I need a save point. I need a, a shrine, like real bad. Monkey booze. So more monkey booze. That's the second vial of monkey booze that I've gotten. Uh oh. Oh, oh, this is the temple place. Oh, son of a bitch. I can open it up from this side. <gasps> this opens up to the bell part of the bell temple. Yay. So much progress. Fuck you. Throwing around your fire bombs. Think you're so special. Sweet. So then now that should let us pass back through. And if memory serves, we're back at the outskirts. Yep, down where Headless was. Neat. Cool. Wasn't so hot on Bloodborne. Still a great game. Yeah, I can see that. Um, I think that Bloodborne was kind of the first steps of From Software to kind of experiment with simpling down their their Dark Souls gameplay of having so many damn weapons and stuff. This game is definitely that taken to the extreme of having one weapon. Uno weapono. I mean, it's a good one. Don't get me wrong. But the em emphasis is much more on your accessories. I must have been over there already because there was an item over there. Or was that the... No, that wasn't the pin... The, was that the pinwheel? No, the pinwheel was not this high. Okay, that's fine. Ah, a coin bag. Okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it. All right, so let's go back to Kuro's room because we have a gourd seed and we have the white pinwheel. So I'm wondering if we can turn in one part of this stuff. Let's see. Also, I just realized that I put my trash can outside, my little trash can that I keep under my desk, because it's ready to go out to the actual garbage. Lord Kuro? Lord Kuro! Where did he go? He was totally here when we started tonight. Oh, there he is, in the library. Lord Kuro! Getting into trouble again. You must <coughs> ascertain the secret. I will tell you what I... About the One flower. Part of the fountain header is a white flower that blooms... Yes, my... The sunken valley is there's a shrine dedicated as the name and there's no proper path yeah but see here's the thing i've got the flower my lord so i guess i can't turn in one at a time i've got to get all three <clears throat> okay that's fine i'm glad you've come master wolf and we shall give the gourd seed heck yo unfortunately i have the one goodbye story-wise waiting the lore and stuff you very much prefer Bloodborne, but gameplay-wise, Demon Souls is better than anything to you. I can see that. Personally, I Sekiro is my favorite that they've done because it it's the most like what I like to play. The spectacle fighters and the fighting games and the fast twitch reaction stuff. I love the much bigger emphasis on the parrying system, which makes me think I should have tried parrying weapons a lot more er, uh, a lot earlier in Dark Souls. I never did. I ended up just kind of sticking with the big swords because those were really fun. And and magic, sword and magic was always my boon there. But um, maybe I should have tried the parrying mechanics more because I'm I like this is my favorite way to play. And you know what? I think it has a lot more to do with the death blows and the the lack of a life bar. Well, 
I guess they have a life bar. The posture uh, system and the way that that works, the the tough pull, push and pull, the 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 very tense feeling there. I like this game the way it's presented a lot more, I guess. You know. But anyway, uh, speaking of enjoying this game, we're going to get to do more of that in just a couple of minutes. We're going to take ourselves a short break. I need more of something to drink. And, uh, yeah, when we come back in about 10 minutes or so, we shall continue with Sekiro. We have a lot more to explore. Oh, God. I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back down and fight that apparition boss, you guys. That's going to suck. That's going to suck real bad. So I guess I got to figure out a way to get rid of this money. What's my soul like? Oh my god, so close. Um, I guess we can go ahead and grind out the next skill point. So that way I don't lose it when I go and throw myself at the boss over and over again. But uh, yeah. So, that's what we'll be doing in just a couple of minutes when we come back. You're watching this on twitch.tv slash Tim Leftwich. My name is Tim Leftwich. We'll be right back. Bye! Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the second half of our stream. We're going to continue playing more Sekiro. And uh, I think that means i got to go back and take out the apparitions now. I don't want to. I don't want to. Uh, 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 uh. So we're not going to just yet. We're going to travel back to the dilap dilapidated temple and see exactly what it is that I need before I can get that phantom blocking upgrade. Because I feel like that's going to be really useful. And if it's something that I can get before I really get down and heavy into the spirit zones, that would be great. Good. Let us upgrade the tool. Oh, so I can't even get it until I unlock whatever this is. The lilac umbrella. I have the materials for it. Shit. See, I have the materials for it, but I can't get it until uh, I acquire this unknown prosthetic tool. Fuck. I have enough to get the Phantom Kunai as well, but again, unknown prosthetic tools are keeping me from the, th the upgrades that I would, uh, can get. I'm missing what looks like four, if these are all indeed separate prosthetic tools. Which it looks like they are, because these were. Uh, sure, if you'd like. I don't know if you want to spoil it for yourself, but it's up to you. All right, uh, I guess it's either going back to the temple and continuing through Simpo Temple or going back into the underground waterway. Fair enough, Noble. So by all means, if you want to be the grand sacrifice, do it to it, babe. I'm going to sit here and have my clearly Canadian. God, these were every there, everywhere when I was a kid. You can buy them at most gas stations, but now I can only find them at World Market. Hmm. Seems like I can knock him off and get an instant kill there. That's good knowledge. Oh, I see another lizard. Here, lizard, lizard, lizard. Okay. Uh, this looks like the extent from this side. Herp. I hear another lizard somewhere around. I was like, please tell me I can make that. Be real mean in this game to put a jump here that it, it won't even let your own character do. Okay, going back up there just leads out. What about over here? Hmm. Looks like a big old, big old fat negatory. All right, fine. I'll bite. Wee. Oof. A little bit of falling damage there, but nothing major. 
Okay, so this is this place. What happens if we fling ourselves? Uh, uh, oh, oh, no. Nope, nope. That didn't fling. That did not fling at all. I tried to fling. It did not fling. I can fling from here. Let's try it. Woohoo! We lived. I am proud of us. For today, we lived. There we go. Okay, so can I... Nope, 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 nope. That didn't work. Well, shit. Uh, the mechanical barrel. Nope, can't say that I did. Okay, seems like the only place for me to go here in the temple is back through. Because I can't really backtrack this area. Over here where the um, the white flower was. And back around to the temple. Okay. Well, poop. That's fine. I can just take the uh, shrine around to somewhere else. New tape problem. Down to Shugendo. And see if we can get in trouble down there. It's the one right before the lilac. I also found an image of the tree. You need the mountain echo whistle first. Okay. Uh, we're back here now. Okay, so I need to get over there. Because that's where the fire is. So, the, I guess the question becomes, how does one go about getting over there? I was hoping that's where we would end up after going around the mountain, but it did not seem to be the case. Oh! Oh! Alright, screw you guys. I'm just gonna go straight up here, take out your buddy, and that's gonna be about it. Got him. Okay, now we came up this way before. But I don't remember going up. We might have. Aha. See, now we're getting closer to where we want to go. Hop. Oh, ha, ha, ha. There's the bell. Here's the opposite side here. And wow, that is a buttload of pinwheels out here with Buddha statues. Excellent. We finally made it. And this is a red and white pinwheel. So we now have the pure white pinwheel. And we have the red and white pinwheel. I'm wondering if we should go back and find that big old lumpy boy who had no idea what he was talking about and show him the white one. Hmm. For the sake of my Yeah, see, I had a feeling that this is going to end up being... A boss fight here. This felt very boss fight place. Alright. Well, big old fucking Claymore sword. Good news is, he's got so much armor on that he's not really able to move very quickly. But, I'm also not able to do any damage. Him either. 
So it's gonna have to be all posture. Uh, he, he did, actually, a thing that could uh, get rid of his armor. What? I don't know. Mm. I don't remember exactly what it was. But that's worth giving it a shot. Hell yeah. Ouch. Let's do that again. Ouch. Not when I'm getting hit, though. Now. Nope, he's going to attack. There we go. I was about to say, I just gotta press, because otherwise he's gonna go into a rage mode. And... Out the window he goes. Making a huge thud on impact. Wow. A latent skill that recovers posture on performing a successful death blow. Nice. So that gives me a second Breath of Nature Shadow. I think I already had one of those. That was awesome. I just kicked his ass right out the window. I'll bet you if you don't get that uh, 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 finishing blow to where he's near the edge, you have to fight. You have to keep fighting him because that looked like the way you had to kill him. You know. That was awesome. And now we are officially on the temple grounds. Ooh, there's an item. And there's whatever's on fire. So, uh, with those two things being established, I guess it's time to go have some fun. What is over here? Another little lookout point. Okay. I'll see if there's something I can grapple to or something like that. You never know. Herp! Made it. Oh, boy. This place is just littered with monks. Like, littered with monks. That sounded a lot more beasty than monk-like. Ah, we got wolves! Yay, little wolfy boy. Well, we know how to deal with them. Here's a treat! Ow. And here's a treat! Yay, good boy. Good boy. Sit. Excuse me, I said sit. Hmm. I can't tell you how much I love the fact that most regular animals can just be killed with a regular shuriken. It's amazing. Because it lets them pump up the pressure by putting a buttload of enemies. Oh my god, treasure carp. I, I, I really want to go and get them. But the minute I dive down into that water, uh, I'm going to be spotted by all those shinobu. And that's just going to be the end for me. Down, boys. Oh, yeah. There we go. Woo -hoo -hoo. That was close. Maybe not. There we go. Treasure carp scale one and treasure carp scale scale number two. Excellent. That brings my total up to four, I believe. Which is great news. I gotta get a whole buttload more, though, before I can really make good use of them. Because I believe... I believe the guy who actually sells stuff for those scales has a, prosthet a prosthetic that we can get. Unless I'm mistaken, which is possible. But I feel like I remember him having a thing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's a bomb. That's a homing bomb. What the hell? 
That was weird. Huh. How the fuck about that? They got like little, little badminton boys. Huh. They can throw around shuttlecocks of explosion. I mean, shuttlecocks usually explode, but after a little bit of work. Hmm, unfortunately, they're all kind of covering each other. Fuck. Ooh. Ha. <laughs> One was a lot closer than I gave him credit for. So, can I maybe... Hup, hup. Nice. Keep the silence. Keep the silence. Keep the silence. Keep the silence. Excellent. Everything else is mystery. Good. Once you kill the guy with the bombs, the other guys are probably going to be a lot more pushover. I mean, quite a few scales for the important stuff. Yeah, I had a feeling about that. All right, cool. Uh, there's another bomber boy who seems to have come out of almost nowhere, but it's okay. We can send him back to the hell he came from. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's another bomb. Yep. <laughs> But I say, I think I saw it gently wafting in the wind. So I either need to be in the middle of a death blow or the fuck out of there whenever I see one of those coming. Cool. And that gives me the two points that I wanted in order to be able to uh, go in and fight the undead guy without worrying about losing spirit points. Nice. A ceramic shard. Looks like a couple of little little potato boys there in the courtyard. Seems inviting enough. Uh, anything around here? Oh. Oh, this is the temple that's on the other side of the thing, which means we're close to where the thing is on fire. Neat. Hmm. Well... Good news, bad news time. Good news is I can kill everyone in here. The bad news is I lost the element of surprise. That was going to be absolutely vital to doing it quickly. That sucks. Long arm centipede senoon. Well, this sucks. So long arm centipede senoon seems to be our next boss over here. He's got a whole bunch of reinforcement in the mode of more uh, boys who can lay out firebombs. But if I can go ahead and take out a few of them, well, that would be just damn. Whoop. Which we can do with shuriken. But I don't want to use all of my shuriken because I have a feeling I'm going to need some for the regular fight. So let's take care of that. And finish him. Cool. Seems like we broke ourselves out of that fight for a minute. Because uh, Centipede Shinoon can't get us over here. Might have even lost track of us. Again, great news if I'm trying to get that initial death blow. Which I am. Which I'm going to get right now. Nice. That, my friends, is how you start an encounter. Uh, and how you finish an encounter is by getting out the giant umbrella to prepare for the rain of blows that's gonna come out. Nope, that needs to be a jump. That's not good. I see the bullshit is starting immediately, but it's pretty much the same as the previous one, so... Yeah, if we can just keep on parrying like that, oh, as you can see, it gets a lot down. Nope, get out of the way, 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 out, and we're dead. Fuck. All right, well, let's see if I can kill one of your boys and get back a little bit of health. Oh, there we go. 
Run off, run off, run off. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. And I've got another revive. Excellent. That's what I was hoping for. That being able to kill her a little bit, or kill another one of her little boys, was going to be able to let me revive again. Wait for it. There's, a, there's our chance. Nope. Ah! Piss pots. That sucks. Oh, hey there, Miss Drake. How are you all? Oops. Can I hide? Yes. I wonder if that would reset her health, though. Let me try. I mean, it, it does, it wouldn't hurt. Crap, that was wrong direction. Woohoo! Hoo -hoo. That was real close. That was real unnecessarily close. She was giving me the scratchings right on my butt cheek. Oh boy. Hmm. Seems she can set this place aflame. I wonder if, let's see here. Do I have anything that can reduce posture damage taken for a time? That might help. Uh, what about anything to kind of interrupt her? Like a fistful of ash, maybe? Thrown in her face hole? See, the thing that I'm worried about, Noble, is if I do hide and don't re-engage, that it's just gonna end up losing the damage that I have done. So I almost kind of want to just dive back in there. Especially considering that, ah, oh, most of the time I can land stuff like that. Here she goes, let's try the fistful of ash. There we go, that is an interrupt. Excellent. That is good news, my friends. That means all I've got to do is, oh, throw the ash. And get in there. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh boy. Oh boy, that is too close for comfort. Too close for comfort, especially considering how close I am to actually winning. And I don't want to lose right now. Got her. Ugh. Got her. Ooh, let me try this. That's it. And the finisher. Yes! <laughs> oh. Oh. Between that ash and across, the, the ash in her face, and being able to just parry like a madman. Woo! That was way too close, you guys. That was way too close of a fight for my, for my liking. But we did it. And what's, is there anything here that I can see and or explore and or open up? Cause that would be cool. I imagine there's something on the other side of that wall, but there we go. I wanna make sure I didn't miss anything else. Hmm. Interestingly, there's two sides to this place, of course. But is this another, I came in through the roof. Is this another exit over here? No. So there's only one front door, and you could a front door approach the boss. Or do what I did, which was enter through the ceiling like a madman. Like a true ninja. Hmm. So then now I wonder <laughs> what the devil's going to be up here. Also, really surprised that there wasn't some sort of uh, idol shrine. Oh, nice baby over there. I was like, I hear something off in my periphery, but I can't look to see it, because I might get ambushed. It's Baby Bell over there bathing herself. I can see girl. Bad lizard. No Taco Bell. Hmm. Oh, wow. That is a pack of dogs just surrounding something. I wonder. I mean, the Whirlwind Slash is going to be able to hit a lot of them. And then the rest of them I should be able to kill with my Shuriken. So, let's be careful. On the approach. Dun, 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 and slice and dice. Nice. That did the job, my friends. That did the job. 
unfortunately got me poisoned, but I mean, that's damage we can come back from. Great work, everyone. Uh-oh. We've got more company coming down. They're running down awful quick. Okay, it's monks. I was like, I don't like how fast they're running down here, you guys. That usually means bad. But honestly, I was thinking they were other beasts. You know, things I can kill with shuriken. I guess technically I can kill them. You know what I mean. Another thing I could have done was use firecrackers. Since they were all beasts over there. Include Wait a minute, I'm still poisoned? Holy crap. So poison just stays, huh? You actually have to... Get rid of it. Nope. Son of a gun. It went away literally right before I used the uh, antidote. That gummit. <laughs> oh, of course it did. Oh well, it's fine. Mm, got him. We can still make our way, no problem. And I've got so many more antidotes just stuck in the stash, you know? That I don't think that's gonna be a huge loss. Ooh. Oh, pff. I mean, what else would be near a funerary pyre? But, I mean, I did get an upgrade from there once, and that's what was on fire. Was just this funerary pyre. And a fistful of ash. Oh, man. <laughs> now I feel like I was lured all the way over here for nothing. Oh! Big Kano boy. Kano boy over here. Trying to make sure he doesn't get snuck up on, but guess what? I'm gonna sneak up on him. Got him! <laughs> Unfortunately, the monk that was in the bushes over here, I think, yep, caught wind of something. As long as we don't garner the attention of his big friend carrying the box, the shield, rather, I think we'll be okay. Oh boy. Is there an up that I can go? Yes. Excellent. I mean, I don't think that's really gonna help. Because they can still kind of see me when I'm up here. You know, I'm not like the most hidden in the world. If somebody already kind of is alert, they'll look up. But, it helps a little bit. Turn around. There you go. Good bomber boy. Head back to your post. Nothing here but the wind and the reeds. And, or pinwheels, I guess. So with that problem taken care of, it should be easy for us to sneak around big old boy with the shield. Oop. Get him out of the way. Yay, scrap magnetite. I mean, I've got most of it that I need. It's the adamantite that I need next. But I imagine that will come with time. And killing bigger guys. Or, I could go ahead and use the bell idol and while I'm going in between uh, bosses, and that would actually alter the loot tables and give me more rare stuff. Like I was able to get a lot of yellow gunpowder that way while I was grinding out against those uh, shotgun boys using the bell idol. Ooh, you. See you up here. Take care of that. Excellent, another go can sugar to replace the one that I just used. And there's not much up here. Hup, hup, just checking. Not much up here. Wee! Fling! Flung! Flung! Nice. That is so much fun. Uh oh. Got almost immediately spotted by another explosion boy. Uh, who I imagine has come has friends. Like he can't just be all by himself. That would be too easy, right? Okay. Let's say he's I mean he's gotta have at least one friend. Cool. Now what worries me is that we haven't found a shrine in like a while. Also, that leads down to the interior of the temple where the hat boys are. And then there's an up path too. I wonder if I should I wonder where I should I wonder which I should 
choices. What is clear is that we have choices. Now, if there's a shrine in here, that would be wonderful. Fuck. What the hell? Is that a guy with two double glaives? Oh, that's dangerous. Oh, that's very deadly and dangerous. Nope, that's two glaive guys back to back. Correction. Two glaive guys back to back with a third one walking down the aisle. Uh, fuck that. I'll go take my chances with the potato lads. That sounds like a much more winnable fight. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean. Hmm. You know, I know what you mean, Dan. Uh, a terrible dryer can be incredibly frustrating. Oh, no. If you have to dry your clothes more than more than twice, like, it just gets infuriating. And then, God forbid, you think all your clothes are dry, and then you try and put on a pair of pants, and they're still moist around the waistband. Ugh, that's the worst. Okay. Um, I mean... I see three of them down there, and none of them have, like, special health bars. So... I guess let's just go murder. Murder! Oh, I can't use this shinobi uh, ninjutsu on him, because I guess they don't have any blood to, like, throw around, you know? To do the cloud with. Oh, come on. It's like he's so close to being death blown. Nope. Oh. I was real worried there for a second that that was going to end poorly for us. Thankfully, it did not. Nice. Uh, what? Poison? Do they release poison when they die? Seems they might release poison when they die. Oh, and that leads up to the funeral pyre up there. Okay. Uh, and then we got another boy. Oh, boy. Oh, dear. Oh, me. Oh, my. Oh, dear. Oh, my. All right. Well, let's do this the smart way. Whoa. Whoa. That one's got a centipede growing out of his back. That's different and new. Uh, I wonder if that means we can actually kill him. Ouch. I mean, I don't have many healing items, but hopefully I've got enough to be able to kill a crouching centipede. That's so cool. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You just gonna sit there and watch? Okay. Then I guess we're going to have to hit him with everything we've got straight away. That Ashina Cross. Our most powerful move so far. So I just got to get in close. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. That's, that's danger time. That's stranger danger. And he's just going to keep adjusting position. Now, what's cool is that I get a little step in there. So that's nice. I can do that. I can get just outside of range and then step in. Nice. To heck with you. Let me do that one more time. Excellent. So now he's like a third of the way dead. And I'd call that a pretty good place to engage. Yeah? Yeah. Ouch! Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> Just immediate no. Just immediate no. Ugh, oh, he's so gross. So gross and nasty. Oh, that's that's a grab. That's he's grabbing me. He's grabbing me now. And he just healed. Oh, that's not good. 
That's not good at all. He gave me a bad touch and gained back a lot of health, you guys. Like, a lot of health. Um, yeah. You know what? I've got something for that. A, I've got one revive. B, I can have a second revive, although I'm going to need to be able to kill somebody in order to use that, so that might not have been the best thing in the world to use. Um, I'm also gonna, 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 gonna use a sugar to temporarily reduce vitality damage. I wish I could do the thing in Witcher where you could poison your own blood to make it not useful to other people. He sure did, Ish. He sure did touch me in a bad place, and I don't appreciate it very much. What happens if you get Ash in the face? Nothing. Oh, boy. That's a big old reach. Ouch. Okay, we're taking less vitality damage, so that's nice. And as long as I can kind of avoid the grab, we're okay. Come on, camera. You're really my worst enemy right now. Doop. Oh, he does recoil from the ash. That's nice. Unfortunately, I'm out of healing stuff. And finished. Woohoo! Too close. Little too close. Lump of fat wax and we're running because he's gonna come back to life. He is not dead because it hasn't dropped a reward. There it is. I knew it. Interesting. So, I have a feeling I know what I need in order to be able to kill those things. And I don't have it yet. So, something that was told to us. In order to kill an immortal being, something that can't die, you need the mortal blade. And that's leading me to think that the mortal blade is actually more so a weapon than like a secret technique or something like that. Although it did describe the mortal blade as the blade you could not wield or something like that. So I don't know. This is gonna be curious. Now what's bad is that I don't have a shrine spot. I desperately need to heal myself and there's a couple of big old um, gl double glaive wielding son of a guns over there. And this is going to be bad. Ouch. Very bad, especially if I end up dying to falling damage. Now, what I could do is homeward idle my way back somewhere, but God, that would be so far back. As opposed to just finding a shrine. If I could just find a shrine, that would be amazing. You know what? I can just try and find a shrine. If I'm ultra sneaky about it. So let's be ultra sneaky about it. I've got the ability to be ultra sneaky. And just stealth around in plain sight. Ah, oh, you whore. Fuck. Oh, I got so excited about the possibility of being able to kill somebody that quickly that I just screwed it up entirely. And now I've wandered into an area that I have no idea what's inside. I have no health to speak of. And this sugar is going to run out any minute. Oh boy. Lots more immortal things. Yay! We found a shrine, we found a shrine, we found a shrine, and it's so fun. We found a shrine, we found a shrine, we found a shrine. Oh, and I need to rest at it. Duh. Now then, what is this? Oh boy, it's another bell. Bells are bad. Bells lead to bad places. Don't ring the bell. Whatever you do, Sekiro, don't ring that bell. Oh, dear. Um, 
Okay, nothing immediately descended upon us. So, like, I'm concerned. The snow is falling up. And also, we're on a roof. But the snow is definitely fall... Fiddle faddle. I know those monkeys. Three monkeys. One of the panels is empty. This is not good. I'm real glad we were able to, he, uh, to rest at that shrine before we came here. Hello, monkeys. Ooh, 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 ooh. He's letting out some awful wafties. The elusive hall bell. When rung, monkeys and wolves alike hmm. return to their initial states. However, a monkey caught in the folding screen will not escape whether the bell is rung or not. What? When rung, folding screen monkeys. Okay, so we're fighting a boss here. The folding screen monkeys. So when we ring the bell, monkeys and wolves return to their initial state. We have to find them and slay them. Okay. I mean, that doesn't seem too hard. It's just hide and go seek with monkeys. Easy enough. I'm pretty stealthy. Crap. And why do I get the feeling that they're also... Yeah, gonna be leaving behind deadly trails. Which will lead me to them. So that's nice. It's not gonna help me sneak up on them. Also, they look very apparition-y to me. So I don't think that regular sword is going to be able to work. Yep, there he goes. Running off. What happens if I give chase? I assume he's not going to stop. Oh, okay, cool. Regular sword does work. Oh, he went down there. Okay, caught him. Hmm. A bear flame in the wind. When it goes out, the place becomes dark as night. That opens up this door. Urgh. And lets in the cool breeze. Which blocks out all the candles. And this place becomes dark as night. Okay. Well, that's good. I wonder if we can now, like, chase him in there. And be able to kill him. Like, once he enters the dark place and isn't able to see us anymore, you know? Like, is that going to be the trick here, setting traps for these boys? And taking them out in trapped areas. Okay, so he jumped on top there. Yeah, see, those are spirit monkeys. Those ain't just regular monkeys. FYI, I am being hunted? For real? By what? Yep, there he went. Okay. So he still saw me.
Uh huh. I found it. Gotcha. Fire monkey down. Nice. Oh boy. What the hell? Stupid spirit monkey. Oh, they apply fear. Got it. But they die easily enough. The stalker monkey. Okay, so if you're not moving, that stalker, mon stalker monkey is going to get you. I imagine there's probably a couple of them, and maybe they even respawn. Below is an abyss. The bottom cannot be seen. Above is darkness. Nothing can be seen. Hmm. So once again, it seems like this is another kill spot. Oh, look at these footprints. Is that the stalker monkey coming after me? Yep. What? What? Okay, that was cool. There was a monkey behind me the whole time. Those amazingly clever game designers. No! We're dead. Those amazingly clever game designers. The one that can't be seen is the one that was right behind you the whole time. Oh my god, that's incredible. So there's this boy who's got his ears, which means he can see real well, but his eyes are closed, which means he can't see. And there's this boy who can see, but it looks like his ears are all crumpled, so he can't hear. Those are hints as to how... Fun fact, he's there right behind you from the moment you spawn. Well, that's, I mean, that's super clever. Like, that is a super clever way to do that. And see, this is going to be the other place where we can lure a manky. I'll bet. No? Maybe not. Hmm. There you guys are. Oh, crap. Unfortunately, poison manky. I got in a strike or two, but you just got away from me. Wait a minute. He went down here. Then he went over there. Aha! He's going into my trap. My everything is darkness trap. Okay, and I assume he went up because that's the only way you can go. Shh. Ah, crap. Man. I even had the drop on him and everything. Oh, that's a stalker. Eh, that's two stalkers. Oh, son of a gun. Fine. We can take them out. No problem. Three stalkers. Four stalkers. Uh-oh. I mean, I knew I was popular, but this is ridiculous. Ouch. Okay, hitting with, with the shuriken doesn't do as much damage as you would hope. Cool. That takes care of that. And gulp, gulp, gulp. Plenty of health. Whee! So, seems like Poison Boy made his way back over towards the center. I think if I hurry. There we go. I can get in a couple of good thwacks. Hey there, Dan. Uh, I am dealing with a couple of spirit monkeys. Because why not? Hmm. And there's a friendly monk here who might give me some Yet advice. Another was lost in the, in the halls of illusion. I believe you are on a mission and wish to leave this place. Yes. Then you must defeat the monkeys. The ones okay. you have done. So. The divine child's voice will reach out to you. The monkey. He He's has a seeing monkey. Excellent, excellent eyesight, eyes. sees great distances, and is very attentive. Exceedingly. The monkey in the body he makes a big fuss when he's old. Oh, perhaps he. The monkey in the he has excellent he will generally run away. He is 
Okay, so I do not it is oh yeah. There was one some. I believe he chased, chased the, monkeys. the monkeys. Eventually everything here was silent. I pray that you succeed. I assume that's alluding to the fact that you will be seen. Wait a minute. I'll bet you if you lure the sound monkey into here, he won't be able to hear you because it's too loud. The noise of the roaring waterfall is deafening. Surely no one can hear anything else in here. So there were spots to lure every single monkey to take advantage of their weaknesses. Like, see, the seeing monkey can't see shit in here because it's too dark. And guess what? Now he dies. That was incredibly cl clever. What a great set of bosses. That was awesome. I was dreading the, the folding monkeys, but those were great. Yes, that's exactly what they are, Ish. And then there's a fourth one, the evil right behind you. Please, forgive them. They only sought to keep me hidden. However, it seems it was not meant to be. Do no evil. Huh, Close interesting. Your eyes. Let us meet at the inner sanctum. What's funny is I've heard a lot of people have trouble with those folding monkey bosses, but that was nowhere near as tough as some of the other ones that I've fought. Hell, some of the ones that we fought tonight. And we made it. The memory of the Scream Monkeys. Excellent. And a puppeteer ninjutsu. What? Manipulates the victim by a pup like a puppet. Activated after a backstab blow. This technique temporarily forces one who should have fled this wet realm to remain. The puppet moves on behalf of its master, but the strings are destined to snap. That returns us to the Hall of Illusions. This is the inner sanctum here, so it seems. And Lord Kuro is here. Yay! All right. Let us enhance attack power using the Scream Monkeys. Halls of Illusion lie on the threshold betwixt, li uh, betwixt life and death. Departed souls of divine children drift and sway, taking shelter in the monkeys of the temple. Uh, such is why the divine child of rejuvenation speaks of them as friends. Yay! Attack power of five. I am so strong. I am so strong. Nothing can stand before me. You know we got to check around for items first. You know we got to check around for items first. Like, I'm in a new area. I'm in a new area that presents me with new opportunities. You know we got to check around for items first. All right. Now let's advance the story. Hmm. You don't look like Lord Kuro. Who are you? I was supposed to meet Why him here. Seek this place? I but that is the voice that I heard. Blade. Do you know of the blade that cannot be drawn? Yes. It is so called, for not one who has drawn it has ever survived. Yet well, the good news is I can't this. die, so I feel like I do. I need this I blade. I see. Very well. Hmm? For real? If you are prepared. Oh my god, it's the Onimusha. You may gaze upon the blade. He chose poorly. Ching. That's an evil sword. Whoa! Why is it, I wonder? Are they not loath to die? She's gonna pray, and we're gonna come back to life, and it's gonna freak her the fuck out. <gasps> How? How are you? I feel good. How are you? Your eye. I yeah. see. You carry the curse. So once eternity. again, that brings up the white 
the birthmark blade. and into the hair streak. Question. Hey. Its power. Now that, my friends, is one hell of an upgrade. An Odochi capable of slaying the undying. Its crimson blade takes the life of any who dare draw it. Without the power of resurrection, one could not hope to wield this weapon, which allows one to defeat even infested beings. Long concealed within the Sinpo Temple, the blade is inscribed with its true name, the gracious gift of tears. Neat. Puppeteer ninjutsu. Hmm. I mean, I guess that gives me other allies and, uh, and like a distraction kind of deal. I mean, I'll give it a shot. Why not? I have a feeling that blood smoke's gonna prove to be more useful, but we shall see. So now I have twin katana. -na 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 -na. How do I use the other? The mortal blade. Or I wonder if you end up just bringing it out in death blows specifically related to undead enemies. You know, like maybe you don't use it all the time. You just use it when you need to, when you're executing somebody who wouldn't die otherwise. And here we go. The perfect place to test it. Crap. I guess this is back inside of that place that had the, yep, shrine with several of these undead people for me to test out my new abilities on. What a clever game. What a clever, clever, clever game. I mean, that means that the bell transported me far away to the Hall of Illusions and then very nearby right back. But uh, you know what? Let's just keep that hilarity between you and me. See if I can sneak up on him. Pachanga! Nice! Wait. There we go! So it's a double finisher that needs to happen. And the second one is the one that actually finishes off an undead foe. So you gotta kill him. And then, you gotta really kill him. Okay. Cool. I see how that works. I can be your angle, zombie boy, or I can be your devil. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that takes care of those. Um, I mean, I wonder if I should just go ahead and, like, clear this place out. And would this be a decent farming spot? Probably not. And here you thought we needed to kill him with fire. I mean, to be fair, we could definitely give that a shot. Although, I wonder what would happen if I used that divine abduction. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. That was a poor move. That was a bad mistake. That was the wrong thing to do. That was exactly the wrong thing to do. Open up that door and aggro both of those boys. Ah. Oops. Hmm. Ooh. I say I know there's got to be a reason for me to get up here if you can if you're gonna let me get up here. Uh -huh. Hup. Made it! Yay! Dragon's blood droplet. That's what I was hoping for. Something along those lines. Nice lump of fat wax. Don't mind if we do. And oh crap! Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. It went fire. Nice. Immediately set a blaze. Good call, Juno. And that extra fire damage just helps out that little bit to murder them. Great suggestion. 
Okay. Heal thyself. Let's... Oh, dear. Nope, that's a hug. That's dead. That's a hug we don't want. The hug from a thousand arms. That's what, that's, that, that is the name of that move now. The hugs of a thousand arms. Okay, I was about to say, I hear more people. All right, let us rest. Reset, everyone. So, I'm guessing that that was the point of this temple. That now we're kind of done here. Getting the mortal blade was the whole point of coming to this temple. Yeah? Why? As you do not have any... Oh, wow. Rude. Dick. I'll leave when I fucking will want to. It wouldn't surprise me if, like, there was a divine tier or something hidden here. You know, but you have to come back after you've beaten the monkeys. Or, you know, a health item or something valuable. Something incredibly valuable. But it, you can only find it after you come back. Okie dokie. Uh, so I'm actually really close to three points, which will let me get my next skill here. Or I can get Vault Over, which immediately allows me to backstab death blow somebody, even in the heat of battle. Hmm. Oh boy. I do not want to take on Winston. Actually, uh, no, Winston, Winston is definitely somewhere else. There is a Winston, and he lives over in, um, where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Botetsvada Valley. That motherfucker right there. <laughs> Okay, so I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think we've done everything we need to do in Shunpo Temple. And we can move on somewhere else. Um, do I have something important? The Inner Sanctum is also a place that I can return to. Interesting. Uh, it should help me finish it, Noble, but I need to, um, well... I need to be able to kill apparitions in order to be able to finish him, and I'm definitely close to there. I don't have anything else, really. Do I have a gourd seed? Why do I feel like I have a gourd seed? I'm glad. I don't think I have a gourd seed. No, okay. Goodbye. For some reason, I just had a feeling that I did. I don't. Wolf. It is the mortal. The sword. Yes, it was given to me by the divine child of the rejuvenating waters at Sempo Temple. Huh. Divine child of the rejuvenating so then those waterfalls the were the rejuvenating waters where the ways of faith, um, Jinichiro of found the, the sediment that he ate in order to give him my powers. Known as the divine children of the rejuvenating waters. A false dragon's heritage. Mm -hmm. I never would have thought. Wait, divine children? Yes, many were created, but only one survived. Further proof of the corruption this power brings to man, the ties of immortality must be severed. Yes, my lord. I have the ability to do it now. So, that is uh, one of the other pieces that we need to this giant puzzle. Hmm. I guess I didn't unlock all the exits to this place. Good to know. All right. I'm thinking fuck a kite boy. We should probably go back down to the abandoned waterway and Well, here's the thing. So you guys mentioned a a uh prosthetic barrel. Did you not? What pray tell is that? Also, I think I have enough money to go and buy what was it? And where was he? Jesus Christ. The other memorial mob was out in Shunpo Temple. In the temple grounds? God, he was real hidden. He was real hidden. Urgh, I don't remember. Shit. That was so long ago now, I don't remember. Ugh. You know what I'm talking about, right? The other memorial mob that was kind of very much hidden out in the middle of nowhere. I'm 
just checking down there to see if there are any other treasure carp. Maybe they respawned or some more over there or something like that. See, and we just did it this evening. But that just kind of goes to show you, you can't remember everything. Too much happens. Uh-oh. There we go. A little underhanded shuriken toss. Help save the day. But that's why they created stuff like the Wikipedians. No? Oh, that's a manky hanging in a tree. W-A-I-T-I-N-G. For that ambush. Uh-oh. What? Who? Where? Where? Who? What? Uh-oh! Monkey! Stupid monkey. I just took down a whole folding screen full of you boys. Was that not enough? There we go. Now there were three of them. Where are they? I see there were three arrows that lit up there. And I hear them. I just don't see them. Oh. There they are. Hi. Oh. Bye. There we go. It's like if I'm going to use the shuriken on them and waste the spirit emblems, we might as well make sure they actually land. Huh. So I guess this isn't a way we went. Cool. Wait a minute, is this the other side of the bridge? It is the other side of the bridge. Oh. Okie dokie, we did go this way. We just ended up coming up. Uh -oh. Oh. Which meant I was able to get the assassination on this guy. First time around. Go. Oh, nope. That hurt. Good job, Gary. Heal thyself. Ouch, ouch. Flame vent. Good. Flame vent did not help. The flame vent did not help, you guys. I am I am pleased to report the flame vent did not help. <laughs> Overhead strikes are easily countered, and he's gonna go nuts. Boom! Bam! Final strike. Ouch. Good. I am so glad that I have that better D-pad now for stuff like being able to pull out those healing items when I really need to. Make sure I don't accidentally click over another direction and, and get up a uh, different item instead, you know? That is really nice. All right. Give me whatever all of these items are. Because I did not come down first. I went up. And uh, I, it looks like I missed a lot of stoof. Well... Three balloons of spirit, some sour persimmons. Ooh, and a heavy coin purse. Totally worth it. It's a lot of money that I'm carrying around right now in coin purses. Whee! I mean, and in general, too. I think I've got like 1,600. But, uh, not too shabby. So would anybody be so kind as to actually look up where that memorial mob was? That would be great. Uh -oh. I think I might have hit off a little bit more than I could possibly chew here. Nope. Okay, we're in the water. Woo! I was like, please tell me I didn't fall all the way to my death. That was going to be real embarrassing. There's a place for me to grapple to. I just got to figure out where it is. I remember being able to get on top of here. How did we get on top of there? Go to the left from the Shugendo item. Got it. I'm gonna try like hell to get my way back over there as soon as I can. Ugh.
But if I seem to remember, there wasn't much as far as shrinage here. I gotta get on down the road. Or back. Let's go back. It's easier to go back. It's quicker and easier to go back. Get off a couple more kills here and there. Just earn that little bit of extra chump change. You know, change literally from chumps. And we're moving. And we're grooving. And we're moving and grooving. Sweet. They'll never find me! Alright, so, travel. Tempo Temple. Shugendo. Go left. Cool. Easy enough. Because I believe the item that he had was 16? Now, if I go left, do you mean through here? No. That's back to those boys. Go left at the idol, maybe from here? So then that would be this way. Yep. This is the way. I remember now. Cool. And he is right here. Perfect. Thank you, Noble. I appreciate it. Let us purchase. Uh, we can purchase the five color rice. Okay. Not as vital as I was hoping for, but sure. Uh, and I'll spend my last 180 on another dragon's blood droplet so that I don't have to come back here and have get you one met later. The divine child of the rejuvenating waters. Sure did. It was by a hair's breadth, but mercifully, she survived. Hmm. Though she must have suffered greatly. You best treat her kindly. Here, this is from me. Nice. Wanted to share. Got a beautiful little persimmon for our troubles. And I guess we could tell him that we got the mortal blade, but that might be a little bit more information than he needs. Hmm. All right, this is that forest path that took us away from there. Okay, Um. well. Hmm. I mean, I guess I could just run all the way through back to the, uh... <gasps> nice. Back to the next idol, which was right over here, I believe. Jingle, jingle. Ooh, hey. Black Cat Badger again. Dragon. Huh. Interesting. So, can he not sell me stuff while he's dragon rotted? Because unfortunately, he is dragon rotted. I mean, I can cure it pretty easily, but he's definitely got it. Hmm. Interesting. I walked right past him the first time. Because we killed this guy here on the edge of the bridge, and I was like, ooh, he was just admiring the view, and then we ran right up the way and never saw him, never saw this place again. It's the kite. Okay. So, he's between the kite mechanism and the old lady up there who can't remember who she is either. So, I guess let's go ahead and cure the dragon rod. Aha! <laughs> Give him the white Is pinwheel. This the pure white. Oh, everyone, they are children of the rejuvenating waters, and I remember I tried to find a pure white pinwheel, a pinwheel for that child. Hey, can I huh. ask a favor? What? For the girl? Did you spirit me away? I don't follow. I know about you. You're a shinobi, right? He's gonna have Most me kill him, isn't he? Shinobi can spirit people away. Make them disappear as if they were never there. Why do you want that? Well, I'm sure that everyone will be wherever I disappear to. And then I'll get to see them. I'm in charge of looking after the children, after all. You can do that, right? I don't want to. 
But of course I can. All right. Oh, oh, thank you, thank you. I'm ready. But also a little frightened. It's okay. We but all yes, are. Do it. All right. I'll go. I don't. Spirit it away. I'm pretty sure he means divine abduction and not actually like killing him. And there he goes. He's gone. Hmm. Weird. I, I swear. I don't understand this game sometimes. I mean, he's gone. He's just gone forever for good. Gone. Never see him again. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. But I have a feeling that we will probably see him again or at least get some sort of good karmic retribution, retribution, some sort of karmic comeback for doing that. Oh, ah, biscuits. I remember what I was gonna do. I need to cure the dragon rot. Okay, let us dragon rot restore. And that will restore everyone with the dragon rot, including but not limited to the lady at the kite station and black hat badger. Good news for everyone. So let's go back up here, remembering that the enemies will be respawned. Hey, Black Hat Badger's feeling much huh. better. So you made it out this way too. You? <laughs> like I said, loose ends. What are you doing here? Over there. I need to cross to the other side of the cliff, but I'm fresh out of ideas. There's no way to cross. If I got a grappling hook. Kite, that helps. Do it. But it ain't easy keeping the kite afloat, especially when you're an amateur. I see. Well, I can help with below the cliff who handles the kites. Uh huh. If he could keep that thing in the air, it'd be risky. The thing is, he... well, I mean, I can definitely help with that. This... <laughs> Give me strength. Okay. Well, I want you to see to that business too, because I can buy from that business. So let's help him with that business, and that business is a good. Mm. So, I assume that if we come down here, take care of this boy, Sam, who won't take bribes, we should be able to come back to Black Hat Badger and say, hey, we can take care of the kite now. Or maybe I just do the kite. I don't know. One of the two. You see over there? Is the... <laughs> well, Give me... never mind. Let's just do the kite thing. Maybe he'll come along. Let's go fly the kite up to the highest height. Aw, good night, Juno. Thank you so much for watching, dear. Always a pleasure. Hmm. Oh my gosh. I got it. I just got it. So what if... Instead of taking a bribe, and instead of killing him, what if we used him as a puppet? You see over there? There's the... <laughs> Give me strength. I mean, I have this puppet ninjutsu that allows me to use people. I don't think it works quite like that, but... I mean, it's certainly worth a shot. Also, I kind of want to see what it does, but it's worth a shot. Right? What's the worst that can happen? We found out it doesn't work. Good night, Juno. I know, I know, I know. We all want to hang out and see more killing and murder, but trust me, there we will be here when you get back. Okay. Ninjutsu time. Wow, that is brutal. <gasps> and
And there he goes, straight to the kite thing. Holy Crimbus! Holy Crimbus, that worked! I cannot believe that actually worked. Wow, this game is amazing. First time I not that. <laughs> Thought I'd finally see you crack a smile. And with that, I can You can attend to your personal matters. You're welcome, buddy. We'll see you next time. That's awesome. Also, that's absolutely brutal that you jam your sword down his neck and then like break his neck around your sword to leave him dead but also kind of under your control. That's messed up and awesome and amazing and I love this game so much. So much. Like not just a little bit, but so much. And let's go see to the old woman. Because the kite is at permanent extension now. That is a good point, Noble. I wonder if that's where Black Hat Badger will be is next to the old woman. The unfortunate thing is we're going to have to get through all those monks again in order to get up to her. But I think it'll be worth it. Wait, he didn't move? For real? Oh, he's still here. Dang it. <laughs> now I can use that bridge. All right. Fine. I guess I have to travel somewhere else instead of just resting for him to move on. So then I'll just travel instead. Cuz I mean, traveling around and then going back to to the lady is going to be way easier than trying to run up there anyway. And if he's not going to move until I go, uh, screw it. Shugendo. He thinks I might have gone a little bit too far. Cool, that takes care of those two. I wonder if I can sneak out of here. Oh, you can go meet that monk if you want. You disappeared. That monk if you want. What monk? I'm sorry, you're going to have to be more specific. I've killed a lot of monks today. There she is. The old lady. Feeling much better. The one I abducted. Oh. Really? I can go and meet him. Huh. Fruits of the Serpent. Yes, there are two kinds. One is fresh. Other is dry. Fruits of the Serpent. Over there. Over the cliff. Through the, Through the hole. hole to grandmother's Ask house we go. Right. Of course. What are you talking about? Hmm? Something troubling you? Rice for me, that's the <laughs> rice, I say. If something troubles your mind. Let's need it. Rice anytime. Interesting. Rice from the divine child. I don't have any, unfortunately, but it seems like I need to get some. Uh-oh. And that will let me do something else with her. Curious. Now, I mean, I have five color rice. Will that work? There you go, how about some rice? I don't think that's what she wanted. No. Nope. Rice from the Divine Child. Okay, so what happens if I pour again? Ooh. Okay, I got you. Five color rice. That's pretty cool, I guess. Hey, I can kill this guy. 
And I guess that is something you you could do at this day, just go around killing a lot of the undead people that are in this valley. Oh boy! That you couldn't before. I forgot about Biggin behind the shrine. I'll be honest with you, I completely forgot about Biggin behind the shrine. He took me all the way by surprise. Alright, almost everybody. Ouch. Using that way of flowing fist to circle around his opponent. And strike his vital spots. Bam, oh. Bam, bam I say. Bam, I say. Good. Alright. Now for some divine abduction. Oh, never mind. Thought I was going to be able to take him out. Whoosh. Whoa. Whoa. I didn't have to kill him at all. What? And finished him. Beautiful. Lump of fat wax from that. So I wonder if that's how they can kind of gate off some of those items. Until, until later on, you know, when you can come back with, say, the mortal blade being able to kill anything and everything in your path. You know, that sort of shit. Okay, this is not a way to a save point. Herp, herp. Rice, she says. She needs rice. Uh. And my five color rice isn't gonna work. Now, I wonder how I can use that five color rice most effectively, you know? I mean, it's clearly, clearly meant to allow me to, like, mark off paths that maybe I haven't been yet. Stuff like that. Hmm. Unfortunately, when I drop down from there to here, this is sort of a path of no return as far as getting back to a shrine. Oh, well. It's fine. I can just homeward idle my way out of here. And yes, Dan, I'm pretty sure that you're exactly right. Uh, that the rice is to help you remember where stuff like the mob is, where you can kind of litter it around. It would be really interesting if, like, you dropped it near a shrine, if it would actually, like, put up a little colored rice grain near the shrine that you put it near, something like that, you know? So you could remember, oh, hey, this is the spot that I need to keep going to next because I, I, you know, stopped playing for a week or whatever. Damn. Another out. Okay. Uh, so. Resets by the area. Uh, okay. It, okay. I got gotcha. you. Well, I'll be damned if I'm going back into that abandoned waterway tonight. That is not something that I'm looking forward to doing at midnight. No, thank you. No, thank you very much. Uh, do you want to know where you get that miss whistle I mentioned? Hold on to that information, Dan. Hold on to that information as well as the, um, the barrel. Because we're going to come back and get that Saturday? Yeah, Saturday night. That sounds like fun to me. Now, I might stream tomorrow night. I don't know. Like I said, I don't have a day job stuff to do. Because um, there's some other stuff to play here and there that isn't Sekiro. But I'm not going to lie. I kind of really want to keep going with Sekiro. Just when I'm a little bit more steeled and reserved and have my edges more sharp to face down another undead enemy. Because I think that's going to be the next one that we have to take down. Is the undead guy that was right here in the uh, waterway. That I said, no, fuck that noise. I think I'm gonna have to. I think I'm gonna have to own up to that, and go and take him down. Unless getting that barrel unlocks the uh, 
the Phoenix fan, which would be amazing. Or excuse me, the Lotus fan. The Phoenix fan is something else. I, I was speaking out of turn. The Phoenix fan allows you to block, like, burning damage. And the Lotus fan is what allows you to block apparitions. So, da Daddy kind of needs that real bad. Especially now that we're going to be fighting stuff with the Mortal Blade. Like, I think that we have now comfortably crossed into the halfway point. I think. Like, once you... It seems to me the structure of this game is such that obtaining something as important as the Mortal Blade is probably about halfway. <laughs> oh, dear goodness gracious. Which makes sense, like, considering the number of places that we've been already, it seems that we have completely explored, like, two places and have a lot of backtracking to do with others. So, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This game just keeps getting deeper, and I keep falling more and more in love with it. So, let's play some more uh, right back here, same Tim time, same Tim channel on Saturday night. And I'll join you right back here. Thank you so much for watching, all of you, all of you out there in Twitch.tv land. And as always, we'll see you next time.